Good morning. I didn't know his video and somebody was texting me. Driving to the vet, we have two hernias and some nose clips today. So out of the finny litter, the blue, um, the blue star boy and the square boy. If you watched the video from Dr. Blaine's yesterday, you saw those puppies being examined. So typically, I've only had one puppy ever, ever have a problem with a hernia repair. Typically, it's no big deal. They're just pulling that muscle tissue back together and making it strong. Um, so just wanted to pop on here for anyone that is getting a puppy from these litters. Your final payments are due, and we are choosing. So I would ask that you watch the videos that I've posted and put them in the order of who you like. Now the Dippy litter is older and there is two big Brindle boys, two big fawn boys, Ben and Jason, and then Ike was the little runt. He's gonna be absolutely adorable and trust me, he thinks he's pretty special. Um, then there was the Brindle girl, which is already chosen, I think. Um, then Olivia, Aaron, and Esther. Yes. <laughs> we were at the vet. The doctor figured out what was the Waltons I'd named them after. He goes, I know. <laughs> Chris, he's my age, too. So that was fun. And then the next letter, I said I was totally out of creativity, and I just gave them symbols like star and heart and triangle. <laughs> That's pitiful. We never could come up with names. So anyway, there's both letters to choose from. That's my message. Please take a look at both. We did individuals on the purple and pink. That was the dippy litter. So go back about a week and a half. Then we did some groups yesterday of uh, blue and yellow. That's the finnies. So blues are boys, yellows are girls. And now they're all microchipped. So they've done a good job these last, these last uh, collars that I purchased are hanging on really good. I, I apologize when people text me, it can come in. And um, so Lil, Ike, my little runt, he's just adorable, and um, he, I don't know how athletic he's going to be. He may be like a sweet, cuddly couch potato, just saying. <laughs> I mean, he's, you know, active, but I'm just not sure he's going to be some run five miles a day. Well, Mastiff, like, I typically breathe, but he might surprise us. Anyway, he definitely thinks a lot of himself because I have carried him around quite a bit. And he actually comes and once picked up, which is not necessarily a full Mastiff trait, right? Pick me up, pick me, pick me. If you, if you watch the video of us outside yesterday. And then the little red girl in Finney's litter, she jumps in my lap. <laughs> now she's a hoot, and she's a toot, and she's gonna be a lot of dog with an attitude. She's with me today, she's getting a nose clip. Some of them in the Finney litter, I had several of them that was stenotic. It just means their nares are really tight, and so they're not getting a good deep breath, and if they're in, if they go south of me, they need big nose holes so they can breathe in a lot of air. And it's just something with this breed, and like with the Bostons or the Dog de Bordeaux, this the smushed face can have that trait that you can have. It's called stenotic, and it doesn't really, unlike the Boston, it, they don't have an elongated palate per se. They just have it's just cosmetic with this flap of skin so we're taking out this flap of skin so that it really opens up like taffy's been done if you've ever seen a close-up of my taffy in the house actually bestie's been done too uh, I think Dion wasn't done but his left one was a little tight so I try not to get anybody that's just terrible especially as my male dog but 
it's just something that we do before we send them home we go ahead and get that done so I'm excited about these guys leaving um, my Colorado people are choosing Shelly if you hear this your email address is not working for me I need to call you today I think 505 was your area code please reach back out to me I have you down for a girl so let me see if we have a girl for you because I have three people wanting to drive from Colorado like usually Colorado is so difficult right to get um, puppies into Colorado and I have five or six puppies going to Colorado and I have three people wanting to come pick up their puppy and they would be able to take puppies back with them which is good because Colorado is a hard 12 hours ask me how I know we were there in September but so this is odd when we drove to Colorado we drove to Denver to see my friend and uh, deliver two puppies there and then we went on up to Wyoming and rode horses so if you look back on the YouTube channel I'm quite sure that I uploaded some video of us on horseback with the Tetons in the distance and that was September the 15th we took off but anyway so this is what I was going to say so we're driving and I, I thought it would just be like because I, I I've flown to Denver but I've never driven to Denver I thought it would be just like bam you see these mountains but that's not what it was like at all on 70 I guess you're just going so like mountains here you go up a hill and you go down a hill and you go up a hill and I think it's like that once you get in the mountains in Denver but 70 was just such a gradual a gradual um, climb inclination no that's not incline that when you were there I'm like where are the mountains I'm sorry I, I don't feel like I'm on a mountain although we were it a very high elevation it didn't feel like it because we had just moved at such a steady so I, anyway again I'm like when do we climb the mountains when do we climb the mountains we, I didn't know we ever climbed the mountain and then going we went through Fort Collins to get to Wyoming and again you there were places you could see the mountains in the distance but I never really felt like we were in the mountains until we got to Jackson Hole and then we were kind of down below the mountains but there was some definitely you could see some definite hills there so that was in September we delivered Chip to Lander Wyoming which is under snow right now I've heard and uh, had a fabulous time with precious precious friends out there uh, and got to go to church with them it was amazing and I could just get emotional here about precious friends and then they have Chip now championship retired and she is living the life she's got a little three or four pound hairy thing and, <laughs> and a Frenchie <laughs> so they typically do well when they retire with cats and small dogs I need to check on Stephanie she went Steffi went into a home with two cats and a lady that's a nurse and so I need to, I haven't checked on her in a couple weeks see how she's doing anyway just wanted to pop on here and say good morning headed to do this vet appointment then I got my teeth cleaned at 3 or 3 30 I need to figure out what time my appointment is 30 minutes in the on the other direction when I get back home so kind of a busy time for us the only thing I haven't got done in the puppy packs uh, oh the good news is we've got pails so I found a place that had pails for you know by the time they had tax and shipping they were a little bit more but thrilled to get the little pails I just love them now these little pails are not something that an adult adult dog I do carry them when I travel but it's not something every day that they would want necessarily to drink out of because it's pretty small but it's great for the puppy till they're about six months old it's great for crate water um, it's great for the travel home anyway I just like them they're these little one quart stainless steel pails my all my crates have the two quart stainless steel pails in them and I found 
these at State Line Tack. Um, but yeah, I used to get them for like $5 a pail and they went up to $10 a pail. So my husband was saying, he was kind of axing me, putting them in the puppy packs. But anyway, we've got them all, we've got in an order of 50, so they will be in the puppy packs this year. So praise God. And the only other thing I said I didn't have done was my leashes and my sister's supposed to be coming over. We need to set up the strippy strap machine because it straps four or five straps at a time instead of me. It's this big $3,000 machine, leather working machine. Instead of me getting on my hands and knees with my handheld one and strapping one at a time, which I don't mind doing. After I've done about 20 straps, I'm worn out and I usually have worn a blister on my hand. But they're not as straight as running them through this amazing heavy machine. So I do like making my straps with that machine. So anyway, uh, you will have a very nice leather, let it go, leather leash in your puppy pack. And it, what, okay, here's the other advice. Watch the puppy delivery video from the bottom of the puppy page. That will answer a lot of your questions. And I did his terrible audio because I didn't have a mic. But I was outside, and if you just absolutely can't hear it, all this information is written, written down. Also, in your puppy pack folders on the first page if you'll read that open it up read that congratulation page it reiterates everything I said then read your shot record and it also tells your vet what I have said about not over vaccinating and no absolutely no internal flea medication and I just tell people if you let your vet kill your puppy I will not replace your puppy and your vet won't either so I know they think they know everything, but trust me, they don't. And I am shocked at the amount of internal flea medication that goes out of every vet's office I've ever been in. And it's very sad and unfortunate because I have talked to numerous, numerous, numerous people that they gave it. A day later, their dog's having seizures. Uh, and the vets want to pretend like we can't connect the dots. Well, I wasn't born yesterday. I can connect the dots. And I have had dogs actually die from uh, Sentinel. So none of it is safe. I did a video on that. Look, once you're inside my YouTube channel, look for, I don't know if it says, once you search, not on the web, although it would be a good idea, you can search the web but the little search inside my YouTube channel and put in internal flea medication and that'll pop up one Sunday. I came in from church and just kind of had a burning desire to do this upload about um, how poison this stuff is, what is the ingredient and what does that ingredient do and why uh, it, it gets in the blood, it affects the blood, why it can cause permanent damage to our dogs. Anyway, I've seen this over and over again, so you don't have to believe me, but I'm just telling you some good, telling you some good information. So I am here. Be blessed, everyone. Praise God for this beautiful, sunny, warm day here in January. And may we go in grace and glory and may we make our divine appointments and be a blessing to someone today so be blessed <music>